Rockstar publicly stated that they have at least one more announcement to share in regards to the Red Dead Online Summer Update before it releases, and the plan here was basically to just leave it at that, as we've already discussed what topics needed to be covered by this point. However, the newest Red Dead Online Summer Update intel gives us a much better picture of what's going on currently at Rockstar and what's to come, and this video has everything you need to know with the latest Summer Update leak that I think the Hazard Gang should be aware of, so if you enjoy this video at any point, or if you just find it helpful, let me know by dropping a like on today's video, and if you'd like to stay up to date and in the loop with everything Red Dead Redemption 2 and Red Dead Online, consider hitting that subscribe button with your notifications turned on. A couple weeks ago, after Rockstar's most recent announcement and clarification that this summer update for Red Dead would indeed be releasing early this summer, it was a pretty vague enough statement to get players wondering what exact date they meant by early summer, and a few days later from then on, we got word from Rockstar Insider Tez Fun 2 that we were looking at a potential release of mid to late July because of the QA Beta 2 changes and DLC pack updates at the time, as well as how Rockstar generally pushes out a Red Dead Online update first and then a GTA Online Online update following thereafter. That seems to be their new strategy here. But perhaps you also heard of the July 6th release date as a possible release date theory as well, and up until now, that's exactly what it was. It was a theory based on the premise that because the Twitch Prime rewards for Red Dead Online expire on Monday, July 5th, that means a new round of rewards are coming on Tuesday, July 6th, along with the summer update because quote, new Twitch Prime rewards always come into the game with a new DLC. However, that claim is easily disputed by the fact that Frontier Pursuits and the Naturalist DLC are two examples of DLCs that have dropped with this game that did not come immediately with new Twitch Prime rewards. They did have their own specific Twitch Prime loot drops, yes, but they weren't made public and available the day of the DLC release, so we've seen both scenarios here. It could be considered an indicator because it's happened before, but it's also an indicator that's not an absolute guarantee because there have been times in the past where a DLC has dropped with Twitch Prime rewards following a week or even later sometimes after its release, but now it looks like we've had have even more information to finally back up this claim and because of our credible and reliable source that we're about to discuss, it's that much more likely that the July 6th is the date for the summer update release. Of course, Rockstar still officially has not confirmed this date to us and that's why you will not find a single person online claiming this as officially confirmed information and if you find any random comment saying it is officially confirmed, you shouldn't take it seriously. However, let's dive into the new information we have on why exactly the July 6th release date is that much much more likely as of recently. Rockstar Insider and Enthusiast TezFun2 had to share the following with us. On Steam Database, the DLC pack stopped receiving updates in terms of size since Friday. Oddly enough, the manifest for the pack was updated, but no changes in terms of size. This is included along an update to the other depot that contains the executable. Anyhow, this usually happens two weeks prior to an update release, so I'm still thinking a July 6th release, but color me surprised if it ends up releasing next week. First, there's a lot to break down here in terms of what he's saying because while July 6th is apparently his most likely date now, he does bring up the possibility of it being next week. All I have to say here is if that is the case, the announcement would most likely come around the time of me posting this video because Rockstar would be making their Friday announcement for a Tuesday release date. You know, I'm making this video on Thursday morning, I can't predict the future, so who knows. However, looking at that July 6th date, it's not just the Twitch Prime rewards expiring that make that date the likely release date. It's the fact that QA Beta 2 and the private DLC pack depot stop getting updated. And if you recall, we made that video a few weeks ago which detail how the DLC pack and QA Beta 2 featuring the next title update build of the game was being tested, and while more changes would be made in the future, if they all stop suddenly, that means we are in the final moments leading up to the release. And from Tez's claims here, that time is happening right now. Now when asked why Rockstar is being vague and not just giving us an exact date, he specified that it's because the date isn't finalized until the very last minute. The Bounty Hunters update was announced on the same day that they were done with the final build that later became the public build, and it's better than giving us an exact date and then pushing it back by a week or two, because the public reaction would make a big deal out of a delay like that. And that's valuable information because that gives us further insight into how Rockstar works internally. They plan for things way in the future. For example, The Naturalist was leaked by Tez in January of 2020, seven months before its release, and then we also had Marcel's Moonshiner voice lines with date timestamps in the files that date back to January of 2019, which as you know was 
11 months before the Moonshiners update released. And now, with the Bounty Hunters update and others, it appears that they continue to work and then when they decide that they've accomplished their goals, that's when they finally make their announcements, etc. so they can avoid any unnecessary delays as the upcoming DLC is already greenlit and essentially ready to go. Now in terms of planning ahead, that's about industry standard, Rockstar doesn't deviate from that. However, the fact that they work up until the last minute and then make an announcement and then essentially push the update out for immediate release is definitely a Rockstar specific thing. Most other companies will begin their marketing period once they're done and the project is greenlit so as to promote their upcoming product and then drop it. Now it appears Rockstar drops the update and that's when they start their real marketing and release and that's why with Red Dead Online's specific case, you're not seeing trailers for an upcoming DLC release until it actually gets released. That's when you see interviews, etc. Now, TB Marcus, another user who initially showcased the hunting wagon and moonshine wagon liveries to us back in February and March, asked Tez how we could examine the file sizes of the DLC packs and compare them, to which Tez answered and responded by stating, if there were changes in terms of size, you would notice the encrypted size would have been updated, but it didn't, specifically for the DLC pack, for the last three QA Beta 2 updates. Prior to both the Naturalist and Bounty Hunters updates, I noticed the DLC pack remains untouched for two weeks up to release. So I'm noticing the same pattern here, which you know makes sense since the DLC would have been finished at that point. From October 29th of 2020, which was the day that QA Beta 2 had its DLC pack updated to December 1st, 2020, it took exactly 33 days or 22 working days for Rockstar. Now, comparing it to this upcoming DLC from June 3rd, with the QA Beta 2 DLC pack update up until July 6th, it would be the exact same amount of workdays. I would consider this a coincidence, but it could also be Rockstar policy that was established to have a whole month of testing. One thing worth noting here is that July 5th would be a public holiday, so if it's releasing on July 6th, then we should receive the big slice of info next week. So just to recap here, the key indicators of why July 6th is the most likely date for release at this point is one, the Twitch Prime rewards expiring on July 5th, which would mean new ones could and should arrive July 6th, especially if the DLC drops then. And then we also have QA Beta 2 and the DLC pack contained therein and how it ceased getting updates and changes internally by Rockstar's teams, which signify that work is done and now being sent to Microsoft and PlayStation for patch certification and approval. And lastly, which is more of a coincidence, but it's the time frame that we're talking about here for all of this and how it lines up perfectly with what happened with the Bounty Hunters update, according to Tez. So that's everything we have to discuss here today. If you've been following along with all the other leaks that we've talked about for the Summer Robberies update for Red Dead Online, then you are fully informed right now and it's probably just best to sit back, wait for that announcement from Rockstar as if it's coming July 6th, we should be seeing either a Tuesday or Friday announcement next week, sort of like how we've seen with other Tuesday and Friday announcements the week before with other updates like Frontier Pursuits, Moonshiners, Naturalist, the Bounty Hunter expansion, etc. And if you're still taking a break from this game, I would also recommend, and it would probably just be a good idea in general, to come back and make sure you have enough money and gold saved up so you can jump right back in and enjoy everything this new Summer Robberies update has to offer. Thank you so much for watching everyone, hopefully you all enjoyed the video today, and hopefully if you did, I earned your like on it, and of course, if you are new to my channel and you like to stay up to date with all the best Red Dead Online and Rockstar Games content, consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on a single thing. We consistently talk about updates, news, information, tips, tricks, and even leaks, and we'll keep you guys updated here on the channel daily, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you want to follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, those are the best places to get connected with me outside of YouTube, and you're more than welcome to ask me any questions on there. You can follow me at HazardousHDTV, and all of my social media links can be found in the description down below. With that being said, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you guys in the next Red Dead Online video. Adios, amigos.